King Victor wants to find a perfect husband for his daughter, Princess Jessica. That's why he offered Arthur, who wants to propose to Jessica, this simple game. He gave the guy 50 gold coins, 50 silver coins, and two empty bowls. Then the king said, Put these 100 coins into these two bowls. You can divide them any way you like, as long as you use all the coins. Then I will blindfold you and move the bowls around. After that, you can choose one bowl and pull one coin out of it. If the coin is gold, you will marry my daughter. But if the coin is silver, you'll spend the rest of your life in jail. Can you help Arthur raise his chances to marry Jessica? He should place one gold coin in one bowl and the rest of the coins in the other bowl. This way, he'll begin with a 50-50 chance of choosing the bowl with the gold coin. But even if he chooses the other bowl, he'll still have almost a 50-50 chance of picking one of the 49 gold coins. So this strategy will give him a 2 and 3 chance of getting engaged with Jessica. Josh is at his first job interview. The interviewer, Nancy, decided to check his logical thinking and offered him this task. You have a large tank of water and three buckets with a capacity of four, eight, and 10 gallons respectively. You have to measure three gallons of water precisely using these buckets. How will you do it? Can you help uh -oh. Josh pass this test? It's impossible. The interviewer asked Josh to measure three gallons, which is an odd number. But she offered Josh the buckets that only fit an even number of gallons, 4, 8, and 10. So he can't be precise in his measurements. There was a doctor with curly hair who lived on Fifth Avenue. One day, the doctor's brother got married. What's the family relationship between the doctor and the groom? Keep in mind that brother is not the answer you need. The doctor with curly hair is the sister of the man who got married. Jim met this pretty woman in his favorite park. After having a pleasant conversation with her, he asked, what's your name? She told him that her name was hidden on the license plate of her car. Here it is, WV733N. Can you figure out the woman's name? Look at the symbols upside down. The lady's name is Neelam. A kind-looking elderly woman came up to Mia in a restaurant. The woman said, You look exactly like my younger daughter. We argued and haven't been speaking for many years. Could you do me a favor and say goodbye, mother, with a smile on your face when I leave? Mia felt very sorry for the poor woman and agreed. So she said, Goodbye, mother when the old woman left. Soon after that, oh, no. Mia got the biggest shock of her life. Can you guess what happened? A waiter approached Mia and gave her the elderly woman's bill. The woman had assured the waiter that her daughter would pay for her meal. Oh, no. Nancy took Josh to the office kitchen. Can you see anything weird on the table? Take a look at the electric kettle. Min and Max are on the opposite sides. Look at this cute little rabbit rotating the gear. Can you predict which mark the arrow will point at? Number one or number two? The second, the gears in direct contact will always rotate in opposite directions. There are 40 elephants, and they have 44 heads. How can this be possible? It's a play on words. 
The 40 elephants have 44 heads. Get it? Kate and Pam are liars. They both lie on specific days. Pam lies on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. She speaks the truth the rest of the time. And Kate lies on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. As for all other days, she speaks only the truth. Can you figure out that one day of the week when both Kate and Pam can say, Tomorrow, I'll lie. It's Thursday. Let's suppose that any girl is telling the truth when she says, Tomorrow, I'll lie. She will have to keep her promise and lie the next day. But if her statement was false, then she'd have to speak the truth the next day. Anyway, in each case, the girls will have to change their behavior the next day. Now, it's pretty clear that Kate can only say that on Thursday or Sunday. And Pam can say that on Monday or Thursday. So, the only day which fits the conditions of the riddle is Thursday. I'm huge on Sunday and Saturday. I'm small from Tuesday to Thursday. I don't exist on Monday and Friday. What am I? The letter S. Mike is a famous treasure hunter. He is stuck in a cave with four doors. Unfortunately, each door hides some serious danger. The room behind the first one is filled with ice. Anyone who enters it gets frozen in seconds. There are two hungry sharks waiting behind the second door. The third door opens to a room filled with the world's most poisonous gas. And the fourth door leads to a room filled with giant magnifying lenses that increase the heat from the sun. Anyone and anything that enters gets burned in no time. Uh -oh. Can you help Mike escape? He can get away through the fourth door at night when the sun goes down. Bobby needs to crack a secret code using the following clues. One of the numbers is correct and is placed in the right place. Nothing is correct. Two numbers are correct, but not in the needed position. One number is what we need, but it's not in the correct position. One number is okay, but not put in its right place. Uh -oh. Have you figured it out? Let's begin with statement 2. We can exclude 0, 3, and 2 from the final code. Now, according to statement 3, we can conclude that numbers 1 and 8 are correct. Statements 1 and 4 help us to learn that 9 is in the final code, and it comes third. Now it's time to identify the right places for 1 and 8. Let's take a look at statements 3 and 5. 8 can't go third because this place is already occupied by 9. And it can't go first because it contradicts the third condition. So, the correct code is 819. Take a look at these matchsticks. There are five identical squares. Can you form six identical squares by moving just three matchsticks? Keep in mind that you're not allowed to let them overlap or break the matchsticks. Here's the way. Take these three matchsticks at the bottom and place them vertically in the center of the squares in the middle row. Voila! Now you have six identical squares. Several robbers locked Fred in a room. The room is almost empty. There's a piano with notes, a calendar, and a waterbed. The room is locked from the outside. Can you guess what Fred ate and drank and how he escaped from the room? To crack this riddle, you definitely need to think outside the box. Fred ate the dates on the calendar, got water from the waterbed, and used a piano key to escape. Fiona can eat 27 chocolates in an hour. Alex can eat two chocolates in 10 minutes. 
and Kitty can eat seven chocolates in 20 minutes. How long will it take them all to eat a large box of 120 chocolates? Two hours. In one hour, Fiona eats 27 chocolates, Alex eats 12, and Kitty eats 21. The total is 60 chocolates. Therefore, it would take them all two hours to eat all 120 chocolates. I'm soft and cuddly, which soothes yeah. your heart. But if you pick my last name, uh -oh. I'm going to tear you apart. What am I? I'm a teddy bear. There are two sand hourglasses. The small one can measure five hours, and the large one can measure seven hours. How can we measure 16 hours with the help of two hourglasses running together? First of all, start both hourglasses at the same time. Five hours later, flip over the small hourglass. Then wait for two hours and flip over the large hourglass as soon as it finishes its first seven-hour cycle. When the small hourglass finishes the second cycle, this will mean that 10 hours have passed. At this point, the large hourglass will have been running for three hours. So now, you should flip over both the small and large hourglasses. This way, you'll make the large hourglass run for three hours. When the large hourglass finishes its three-hour cycle, this will mean that 13 hours have passed. Now, flip both the small and large hourglasses over again. When the small hourglass runs out of sand, it will mark another three hours. You've just measured 16 hours, and the mission is accomplished. Can you guess which color should be added to the top of this tree? The number of letters in the names of these colors gets reduced by one in every next row. Scarlet is made up of seven letters. Orange and yellow have six letters. Green, brown, and black contain five letters. Gray and blue have just four. So, the missing color should be made up of three letters. For example, red. Amy entered her favorite fast food place to get some fries. She saw these four people inside. Can you tell who's not poor? The first lady has a fake Gucci bag. This gentleman has a patch on his jacket. The third woman has threads sticking out of her suit. And the fourth guy has a bunch of expensive gadgets. So he's definitely not poor. Take a look at these matchsticks. Can you find a way to make three squares by moving just four matchsticks? Here's the right way. The accountant says, The attorney is my brother! But the attorney claims he doesn't have a brother. Who's lying? Neither. The accountant is his sister.